Dia de los Muertos is more popular than ever in Mexico and increasingly abroad. Day of the Dead is not a Mexican version of Halloween. Although related, the two events differ greatly in traditions and tone. Whereas Halloween is a dark night of terror and mischief, Day of the Dead festivities unfold over two days in an explosion of color and life-affirming joy. Sure, the theme is death, but the point is to demonstrate love and respect for deceased family members. Day of the Dead is an extremely social holiday that spills into the streets and public squares at all hours of the day and night. People dress up as skeletons and that's part of the fun. People of all ages have their faces artfully painted to resemble skulls and mimicking the Calavera Katrina, they don suits and fancy dresses. Today, we will be creating our masks inspired by this celebrated holiday. You're gonna need a few things when we start painting the face. You're gonna need a paintbrush. You'll need a cup of water you could share with a friend. You'll need some paper towels and you'll also need your placemat. And how can I forget, you'll need your mask. So today you're gonna be given some of these different looks for your mask. So these are some of the other uh, skull kind of face paintings that you might choose from. Now, you don't have to copy one of these exactly, but this is here for your inspiration. So for instance, I love this eye right here, but I also kind of like the diamonds in the eyes right here, and I also like this spider web feature. So I'm probably gonna morph all three of these together today and try to create my very own mask. What I want you to notice is that these are covered in details. There are so many details, there are so many different colors. So please, I want you to fill up your mask with detail. You'll find these little cups here for the different paint colors that you might use. The way you use them is you just find the one that you need. If someone needs to share, please be kind and share with them as well. Um, once you are done, you make sure to put the lid back on and then return it to the counter, please. So I finished everything that I needed to do in the white paint. So now it's time for me to clean my brush. Remember we always dip, let it drip, and then we dry off, get some of the excess paint off. But oh look, did I get all of it off? No sir, I did not. So I'm gonna go around and make sure that this brush is clean before I go into the next color of paint. So make sure that you've completely dabbed off your brush and gotten all of that junk out. a few more colors I made sure to clean my brush I tried to fill up as much area as I could I used inspiration from the handout that I created to create this kind of skull mask now you can be totally creative with yours if you have another idea for your skull mask please go for it I want you to be creative but I want it to look a little bit like the Dia de los Muertos mask Okay, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take carefully take this and place it on the back counter so that it won't get harmed or ruined. All right, guys, I am so excited to see what amazing masks that y'all are gonna create, and I will see you next time. Bye.